Hi everyone, this week we're going to be taking a look at an iMac G4 700 MHz. We're going to go ahead and do a couple upgrades and just get it cleaned up. It does work in the state it's in, it's just a little bit dirty. Um, and I just want to go ahead and get it ready to sell, make sure everything's working well. So enjoy. So with the computer open, we can get a look at the inside and we're going to replace the internal stick of RAM as well as the PRAM battery. The internal stick of RAM is considered by Apple to be non-user replaceable, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade it since we're in here. And then we'll get the total of one gigabyte of RAM, which is the maximum for this computer. Um, I read that two gigabytes was supported, but it's actually not for this earlier 700 megahertz model. Um, and we'll go ahead and get the thermal paste replaced on the processor as well as the heat spreader and we'll go from there. So you can see the thermal paste is pretty dried out so it can be tough to scrape off without damaging the surface so I use Arctic Clean thermal paste remover. It just breaks it down, um, put it on, let it soak for a few minutes while you're doing something else, and then it wipes right off without having to scrape anything or worry about damaging it. Definitely recommend using that.
So the fan and the exhaust vent were both pretty gross, pretty full of dirt. Uh, I believe this was left in a basement for quite a long time. Um, I don't show it all, but I do spend probably about half an hour just trying to clean up those holes because they're so full of dirt. Um, every time you clean one, it just kind of pushes more dirt around, so it, it ended up taking quite a while. Um, and then I do go ahead and try to clean up the fan, but we'll see that that doesn't go too well. And cleaning the first fan blade, it just snapped right off. Um, kind of unfortunate. The good thing about these fans is if you snap one blade off, you can still use it. It just changes colors somehow. But we'll go ahead and use this one now. You can see my wonderful electrical tape and paper towel band-aid. Turns out that DVD case is a little bit sharper than I thought. Um, spoiler alert, this RAM is actually faulty and this is the wrong airport card. Um, I'm not really too familiar with Max, but turns out with this one you can't use an airport extreme. So I did have to purchase the, for some reason, more expensive older generation regular airport and then install that. Um, and then the RAM, I did end up having to buy a replacement. A bit of a hassle, but once I did finally get the correct RAM in, it did boot up. You can see right here, it just does nothing um, until I ended up taking this RAM out. It ran fine with the internal, and then a few weeks later when I actually got the rest of the kit, I did get the rest of it working properly. It does show the incorrect date because I did remove the PRAM battery, but once I get it set now, it will stay that way with the new battery. I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of the exterior cleaned up. Um, the holes ended up not coming out as well as I would have liked for the exhaust, so I do go ahead and spend some more time with those just to try to get them looking nicer.
here we have our successful upgrade done. One gigabyte of RAM, we do have Wi-Fi now enabled. There isn't a whole lot of difference in the performance, but I just want to make sure we'll go ahead and max it out, because why not? I did end up replacing the DVD drive because the old one was faulty, kept opening on its own, it wouldn't read discs. And then while I was in there, I replaced the IDE cable just to make sure there were no issues. I had one lying around. Um, play a little chess here, make sure I lose to the computer, just to make sure everything's working well, and we're done. Here we have the finished product, and thank you for watching.